What is up, Humanoid Nation? So I had no idea that Comic-Con let out a whole bunch of shitload of trailers. I should have known since I reacted to Wonder Woman and the uh, Walking Dead trailers before. And it said Comic-Con. But I guess, hey, that were just two. But then I figured, I wasn't thinking. I really wasn't thinking. Like, there's a Comic-Con. Of course they're going to put out a bunch of trailers. So... Just like how I did with the Super Bowl reaction thing I did a while back. Instead of doing separate videos, because that'd be pretty much fucking annoying. I'm going to do it all in one video, because I don't want to do it separate videos. Because it wouldn't be fair to you guys, and it's way too much shit to do. Not really way too much shit, but it's way too much videos to put out in one day. Like, 13. 13 fucking... Yes, I said 13, because I'm not going to react to every single one of the trailers here. Because basically, what do we have? Yeah, I'm going to react to Justice League. I got them all over here. Sherlock, I'm not going to react to that because i only seen season one. Well, correction, the first episode of season two. Or did I not even finish one? Yeah, first season, first episode of season two. I'm way behind. A um, bunch of other stuff. Like Game of Thrones, I haven't even seen yet. I haven't. I want to see that. Call of Duty, I'm not a Call of Duty fan, so fuck that. Doctor Strange, I'm going to do it. Um... And yeah, you guys get the gist, so the ones that I'm not reacting to, I'm not reacting to, so if you're wondering why I didn't react to one, it's because I don't want to, or if I don't know the source subject. So anyway, the first one we're going to watch, reacting time, is the Just League special Comic-Con footage. So let me put it right here so it doesn't blast in your eardrums. Full screen this. Let's start this shit. Always fucking shit going on outside. There is a stranger who comes to this village from the sea. He comes in the winter when people are hungry, drinks fish. Aquaman? It's about the king tide. That was last night. Oh shit, Jason Momoa! Talk. Even though I've never seen Game of Thrones, I know who Jason Momoa is. I'm far away. I'm looking for warriors. This stranger. Others like him. I'm building an alliance to defend Cyborg! Us. It's very important that I see this man. Barry Allen. Oh shit. Barry Allen. Like it explains why there's a total stranger sitting in the dark in my second favorite chair. So is Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark now just going around recruiting people like he did with Spider Man? More, more, or more less? Probably more or less. Careful, Bruce. You'll get the fishes to come after you. Look, man, I don't know who you are, but whoever you're looking for. Same shit Tony Stark did! Really? Come on, you ripped off directly off of Civil War, huh? I guess, why not? It's Tim fighting words now. <laughs> you gotta beat Marvel. So you're fast. That feels like an oversimplification. I'm putting together a team with a special abilities. See, I believe the enemies are coming. Stop right there. I'm in. You are? That was easy. Like that. Yeah, I... I need friends. Can I keep this? No. Oh shit, Cyborg. I heard about you. Oh my god, Cyborg, you look insane. I'm real, it's useful. And why is uh, he wearing the Batman 60s Batman suit? He kind of looks like Adam West. Hey, you can talk to fish. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's it. So basically, the only one that's missing is Green Lantern. But they're not doing Green Lantern until way, 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 way later. Which kind of sucks, so. But hey, if we're just going to get Cyborg, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Batman, 
And Superman, however, they bring him back from the fucking dead. I don't know how. Because, like, in the last movie, the god-awful Batman versus Superman shit, you can tell that it was obvious that he was coming back to life because they lingered onto his coffin and the ground shook, so obviously he's alive. How to explain it? Who fucking knows? But again, DC shit looks always amazing in trailers, but when they're... There's actually a movie, when you go watch it, it's just not that great. I hope to fuck that this movie is awesome, unlike Batman vs. Superman. And please let Suicide Squad be awesome. You can't fuck over Suicide Squad. Don't let it be the Will Smith show. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm fucking asking. Anyways, that's it for this one. On to the next one, which is... Ah, Marvel's Luke Cage. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Watching, I finally finished watching Jessica Jones. Luke Cage is a freaking badass. I know a little bit of him. I just know that he's like a hero for hire, but they're not doing that in the show to make him honorable, I guess. But from the comics and TV shows, he's basically a hero for hire with him and Iron Fist. But so what? It's a darker tone. So who knows what they're doing with this? So let's see this. Let's do this, Marvel's Luke Cage, Netflix. And I'm looking forward to the Defenders show that they're coming out with. Take my advice, brother. You should be out there helping people, like them other fellas downtown. Ray used to say the same thing. Yeah, but well, she was right. Oh, Oh, old oh, bastard. I miss you so much. He still has that daredevil feel to it. But start breathing it. Get me, I'm gonna fucking lose the cage, bitch. Oh. You knocked down a few doors in the projects, and now you are a hero. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Ah, uh, September 30th. Looking forward to that shit. I am so looking forward to that. Because like I watched Daredevil. I love that show. Then I watched Jessica Jones. That's how I got to know Luke Cage. And he, of course, he's going to get his own show. But him on Jessica Jones was just amazing. The actress who plays Jessica Jones. I forget her name. But goddamn, she was good too. Although I never ever heard of Jessica Jones until the show started. People told me to go check it out. So I did check it out. I'm glad I did because it was amazing. And of course, David fucking Tennant. Come on, Doctor Fucking Who. He was in it, so it sold me right away. And he's like basically playing the Purple Man, the fucking Purple Man. But yeah, enough of Jessica Jones. Luke Cage. Luke Cage is gonna do amazing too. It still has a grittiness that it has to the other shows, and it's Netflix, so Netflix is doing amazing. So enough rambling about Luke Cage. Let's get on with the second, third, fuck, third one. Doctor Strange, official trailer number two, as I reacted to the first one a while back. Wonder what else they're going to put in here, because Benedict Cumberbatch, he's freaking amazing. I still got to finish Sherlock, though. I'm only, like I said, on the first episode of set season two of Sherlock. Moriarty, I can't take that guy seriously. He's basically a joke. Every time I see him on screen, which was like twice, I just want to punch him in the face, because he just annoys the shit out of me. Maybe it's just me. Does anyone find else Moriarty annoying and not threatening to the say the least? But anyways, enough of rambling. Let's do this. Doctor Strange, official trailer number two. Doctor Strange. His hands. His famous hands. You think you know how the world works? What if I told you the reality you know is one of many? In such a music. Oh. Not everything does. 
Not everything has to. Through the mystic arts, we harness energy and shape reality. We travel great distances. Dr. Strange's nemesis, I keep up against his name. He's that magic motherfucker. Well, I get from here to there. Like I said, I don't know much of Dr. Strange, I just know who he is. Study and practice. I see some bitterness. Stop. Stop. I just know the backstory. There's story. a strength to him, but is he ready? Mephesto? That is definitely his name. Be careful which paths you travel down, Strange. Stronger men than you have lost their way. Graph, sorry, volume, I forgot the volume. I am dead. In pain. You die protecting this world. I can't do this. There is no other way. I spent so many years yeah. here in springtime. This is some mind-bending shit. Looking for you. this my mantra the wi-fi password yeah huh. we're not savages savage how do you get wi-fi all the way out in the mountains i just have to ask it's a movie don't ask questions Ha, yeah, fuck it no how do you get fucking wi-fi out in the mountains really really do you have like a provider somewhere down the mountain, somewhere in the middle of nowhere? Like, you got fucking Comcast out somewhere, like, giving internet to this one little village? Really? I can see Comcast doing that. But yeah, I forget the main nemesis of Doctor Strange. Like I said, I don't know much about Doctor Strange. I just know a little bit here and there, but I do know who he is and how he became Doctor Strange because, like, he was a famous surgeon with his famous hands who did shit. Then he got into an accident and could no longer use his hands and then got depressed and went off somewhere into the mountains, found this mentor of his. Oh, by the way, the mentor. I'm hearing that there's a lot of controversy because they got a white person to be the mentor because the original mentor was Asian. I, I, From what I can remember, yeah, there is some controversy going on. Yeah, but yeah, that's the whole gist. But I'm looking forward to this. That's a mind-bending shit right there. Like, everything's bending sideways. But yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Who isn't looking forward to that? I just want to know. Ah, let's see. Next one. Oh, my God. Season three. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Please let Bullseye be in season three. I want to see a good fight. I don't. Who else can they put in there? They Because, like, Kingpin. And then they got the Punisher and along with a bunch of people. I wonder when the Punisher show is coming out. That'll be amazing. That'll be so amazing. But anyways, let's do this. Um... Okay. Well, it's a teaser trailer. Of course, they're gonna tease you. But I so thought they were gonna actually show something. But no, they're just tease. Like it said in the fucking title, teaser trailer. What am I about? Why? Who am I to complain? But yeah, the, I just want to know who is gonna be in this. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so amazing. All right. Ooh, The Exorcist. Can I just say one thing? The original Exorcist. I never found scary. Okay. Her coming down the stairs in the deleted version, like a fucking spider, that creeped me the fuck out. But I can understand this is from the 70s. I saw this movie in the year 2000. So, what I was, ex no, between 98 and 99, I was expecting more, but of course the 70s, everything's more, people were more scared back then, and I can see why they were scared of this, but like watching it, 
in that era, in the 90s, really didn't get to me, but horror movies nowadays is mostly jump scares and a bunch of bullshit, but I may watch this if it actually looks good, because I haven't watched any horror movie in a while, because I'm a pussy. I don't like horror movies, unless they're really good. The horror movies of today are just shit from what they look like. But anyways, let's do this Exorcist Comic-Con trailer. Let's do it. Father Marcus, what do you want? I was told you were an exorcist. Who is that key told you? All credits. Does he admit? Yeah, I think he knows. In the 70s, most likely. Is that Bookie Woodbine? I'm not a crazy person. No, I'm, I'm not saying you're crazy. I'm, there is Hold on. Is this a show? House. Oh, it's a show. I thought it was a movie. Oh, I'm down for a show. Angela, demons aren't real. They are metaphors. It's trying to take my daughter. You're being manipulated by forces you can't even begin to understand. You got me already getting the kibi jeebies. The rising star. I think God spoke to me today. What did he say? He said, I want you to help his family. Anybody out there? You're afraid? Yeah, you should be too. Oh, fuck! Ah, oh, someone's calling me. God damn. Oh, so it is a show. I am so down for this. I am so down. Who the hell is... Florida number? Who the fuck keeps on calling me from Florida? For fuck's sakes. I've been getting that all day. It's like, I don't know anybody from Florida. But anyways... Now that I know this is a show, I am so down to watch this show. It looks amazing. I wonder if they're going to put the line in your mother sucks cocks in hell in this thing. Can they get away with that? It's Fox. I don't think they can. Because <laughs> it's Fox. Really? Fox? You, it's not going to be on Netflix? Oh, okay. Uh, kind of a shame, really. Really kind of a shame. Next one. Gotham. Season 3 Comic Con trailer. Let's just say, I hope to God they don't put Joker in this because a lot of fans have been bitching that they need the Joker on it. How do you have the Joker in it when Batman is just 10 years old? He's a little kid. He's like 12 or something. Doesn't come later until we, when he's an adult. There's no point in it, but people have been bitching and bitching and bitching. God, I hope they don't have the Joker in this season. Please don't. Please don't. Well, they did in season two. Well, he's supposedly supposed to be the Joker. Who knows? The guy who uh, killed his own mother and, like, got the blind guy. That was his father. He was pretty cool, though. The way he laughed was amazing. I forgot his name, but you all know who I'm talking about. He did a pretty good job. So, anyways, let's do this. Coming to Fox. What the hell is happening to our city? Nothing good. Please, you Oh no, they are getting the Joker, aren't they? Hey, Inferno! Mr. Breeze? Really? What's going on here?
Oh, this guy has a growth spurt. He went from a little kid to a tall kid now. Joe Chill. Kill. You're actually gonna kill yes. Joe Chill. Be the same. That's no. No, I was not. Ah. Oh shit, he's going down a dark path. Damn it, Jim, what you do? Ah, he's back. I love that guy. Kind of spoiled it there, did he? Didn't tell him. Well, of course, Batman doesn't kill. Killer Croc. Oh shit! They got Hugo Strange. Oh, it's on now. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I thought she died! Come on! Kill her off, for fuck's sakes! Inferno and Mr. Freeze together, huh? What the fuck? I'll call you guys later. Who are you? What do you call yourselves? I am so important. This show, season three, is bringing the show. Just bringing it, isn't it? Who was that at the end? Am I missing something? Who was that? I have no idea who that was. But I think I seen Killer Croc in there somewhere. Definitely Mr. Freeze Inferno. And they're bringing back Fish Mooney for some stupid reason. She was cool in the first season, but they dragged on in the second season. And I thought she would die at the end. But no, they bring her back. God fucking damn. Really? Cool to see the Riddler back. Penguin. Poison Ivy's all grown up, possibly. Who else? I fuck you were strange. It's amazing they brought him in, and I guess Joker guy is gonna make an appearance because like he had the smile, but was that the makeup? You can touch tell it's him. Although what was Joker's real name? I can never. I always forget. Even though I have the Killing Joke book with me, I always forget. But anyways, what do you guys think of Gotham season three Comic Con trailer? They just brought everything, didn't they? They just brought it. All right, so to the next one. And we have Marvel's Iron Fist. It was like the most common one, the one to uh, soothe Luke Cage. It's like don't know much about Iron Fist, it's just I know he has the magical hand with him that just does the punching power and he has the tattoo like don't really know much about him because I started watching him in the Ultimate Spider-Man and like the other Avengers Assemble when he was on there. Like I said, teenage, 
or in Spider-Man un, un, Unlimited, not the Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man Unlimited, where they did the teenage thing. But anyways, let's see how this goes. Marvel, doing better than DC. The Tibetan monks, or the monks, or whatever. Falcon Punch! Come on. Don't you want to see Falcon Punch every time he does this? Oh, Danny. Danny Ray. That's his name, right? I love how they have some clues of him, like that tie-in with him in Daredevil, like when they're uh, doing the whole drug thing from that old lady. Because, like, the symbol on there is, like, Iron Fist's symbol, but his nemesis symbol, because they did the same thing, like, got taught the same way. And they use that symbol, one for good and one for evil. And then Jessica Jones, RPM Red Ranger is a drug addict who uses that shit. Yeah, I said RPM Red Ranger. It's RPM Red Ranger who played the crack addict guy in Jessica Jones. Look it up. I didn't realize it was him at first, but then I recognized that voice. I go, like, that voice sounds familiar. And I go like, holy crap, it's the RPM Red Ranger. But yeah, Marvel's Iron Fist, I'm looking forward to that. Don't know much about him, I just know he's a sidekick to Luke Cage. Or they're both even, who knows, but I, they're always together. But I'd love to see him together, possibly in the Defenders show that they're doing later on. But now, first they gotta do Luke Cage and Iron Fist, and let's see when they get together, it's gonna be amazing. To the next one. Blair Witch, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. God, man. I'm going to be honest with you. The ending, everybody says, it's the most scariest thing ever. I don't know what's up with it. He's just a guy staring at the corner. Nothing else. And the guy's person with the camera screams and drops the camera. And something happens. I never understood the ending. Because like, the guy's just staring at the wall. What's so scary about that? But other than that, it was pretty cool. Like it, Everybody thought it was real. They filmed The way they filmed it. Because that was like the first handheld camera movie back in the day, I guess. And they actually made it look like that these guys were not actors, because, like, back in the day, 90s, they made it do that, and they made it that way. But then we all figured out that it was just a movie, because, like, the actors went on Conan O'Brien and David Letterman to do interviews, and they said it was a, a movie. So, yeah, we, like this, we didn't have YouTube and that shit back in the day, so we didn't know. So, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I threw the map away like I'm, cause I'm a dumbass. And fuck the second sequel. Fuck the sequel. I ain't watching that shit. I think that might be my sister. Lionsgate. Oh shit, this ain't looking good. If there's any chance that I could find out what happened to her, I need to try. Legend said there's been a curse on these ones. Leave the strings about Oh my god. Shake the tent. Shake the tent. Will they be crying from the nose? That's what I want to know. Will there be a teardrop coming from the nose? Get dragged to hell. Fucking jump scare, eh?
I'm sorry, this looks just awful. <coughs> but <coughs> see how awful it is, it's making me cough. I seriously thought it'd be a movie I would want to watch because it's a Blair Witch. But I guess they're not. It's not. It just looks like. It just looks awful. I'm not going to lie. It just looks fucking awful. Like, the first one was cool and all because it was the first, but that was the first. And the sequel was just bullshit. But yeah, it looks like they're making this one look like the sequel, sort of. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. This movie just looks fucking awful. I'm not even going to watch it. Anyways, to the next one. Marvel's The Defenders! Yay! So we got... They're putting together Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. Isn't there a fifth one in there, like Tigress, like the Tina girl? From Ultimate Spider-Man? That's what I heard. Like, her name is Tigress, isn't it? White Tiger? Tigress? Who knows? Or is it just four people? Anyway, we'll find out now. Let's do this. Come the devil, yeah, daredevil. Jessica Jones. superhero team around except they're not that famous they're semi-famous got Daredevil Jessica Jones Iron Fist and Luke Cage how is that gonna work that's gonna Luke Cage and Iron Fist can work together also Jessica Jones and Iron Fist can work together no Jessica Jones and Luke Cage can work together because they are a thing but how well how is Daredevil gonna work with them because he's like law-abiding and shit I just want to know that that's gonna be interesting but yeah 2017 ah fuck but that's gonna be interesting Anyways, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Snowden! At least they're gonna show something this time instead of a fucking thing that says Snowden the first time around. It didn't show anything, so. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Let's see how he does. Does he even look like him? Michael Ed. Yeah, I asked Mike, Mike Blocks, which I think was before we get onto the stories, I need to know more about you. Oh, it looks like it. I worked as a private contractor for the NSA, for the CIA, I worked in various jobs in the intelligence industry for the last nine years. It wasn't there to be comfortable in how we make contact. They're going to come for all of you. Is that Skyler? Siler? Siler's in this movie? My name. Is Edward Joseph That's what they say. I know about your conversations. What is this? Who's out there? Are they watching us? The house is pumped. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. One man can stop the motor of the world. What is it about this job that makes it more important than your life? Oh, of course. Yeah, that's how it is. 
What do you want to know? 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 Going away. For a long time. Because he can't come back to America. Unless he can. Yeah, Oliver Stone, sweet. So this could be like a four hour movie, ain't it? Because that's how Oliver Stone does it. Zachary Quinto, yes. Siler's in this movie. Yeah, so if it's an Oliver Stone movie, it's going to be definitely four hours, which I'm looking forward to. Because I hope it's not like Savages, because that movie was fucking shit. I was like, come on, you're trying to go against the Mexican cartel, right? All because they took away your whore. Fuck you guys. By the way, this looks like a good movie. Joseph Gordon-Lovett's amazing actor. I was like, is he using his real voice or he just modified his voice? What am I talking about, modified? Change his voice to sound like Edward Snowden? Because I think he can do that. Who knows? But anyways, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely down to see this. Looks really interesting. Let's see. Oh, Suicide, Suicide Squad official Comic Con soundtrack remix. Don't know what it, what else to say. Let's just watch this. Please be good. Please be good. Don't let it be the Will Smith show. It's an honor. Among thieves, we almost pulled it off. Despite what everybody thought, they're gonna blame us for the whole thing. We're the patsies. Don't forget, we're the bad guys. definitely does have ass. Margot Robbie. I'm going to get her name right one of these days. I always I always mix up her name with Margot Kidder, like Lois Lane from Superman. But no, it's not Margot Kidder. Margot Kidder is like basically insane. It's Margot Robbie, but she is fine. Anyways, I'd like to see how this goes. Please don't let it suck. That's all I'm asking. 
It's like all the hype. It's so much hype now. I just hope the hype is real. Jared Leto, he looks like an amazing Joker. I hope he does awesome. He just looks insane in that shit. He just looks insane. And let's see. The last one? Yes. No, oh, wait. We got two more. All right. Kong Skull Island official Comic-Con trailer. Ah... Uh, it better not have, it was Beauty that killed the beast in there. Although, I did like the Jack Black version. I'm the only one that liked that movie. What is this? The Tuskegee Airmen? Red Tails? What, what am I watching here? Looks like I was watching a different movie there for a second. Shit got real. Oh shit! Samuel L. Jackson and this. John Goodman. You are going, going to tell me everything, everything I, I don't, don't know? know. I'm going to blow your head off. And you will too, because he's Sam Jackson. Do not fuck around with Samuel L. Jackson. Godzilla. Which Godzilla? Not the 98 Godzilla. Please don't tell me it's that one. I don't like Sam Jackson's chances in this movie. Anytime there's animals trying to kill him, he always dies. Oh shit! Caesar is mega steroid up now. Yeah, looks amazing, but yeah, they didn't show much of Kong. I guess they're gonna save that for the movie because that's what they do. But yeah, Samuel L. Jackson, he doesn't have a good rep with movies that have animals that are trying to kill him because they always, he always dies and look deep blue sea jurassic park a bunch of others yeah part of me thinks that samuel L. jackson's gonna die in this because he doesn't have a good track record he doesn't but yeah it's just sam jackson and john goodman of course i'm gonna watch this shit oh yeah tom hiddleston's in it but fuck that Tom john goodman and samuel L. jackson is in it that's i'm sold just with that anyway to the next one, which is, oh, the Lego Batman movie. Will Arnett still playing the Lego Batman? Please let it be. Please let it be. Let's do this. Computer, how do I put the Joker in the Yeah, it's Will Arnett. It's no no free way. Computer, do you hear me? Hello, Mr. I've just taken away your computer privileges. <laughs> Damn you, Alfred! To stop this unhealthy behavior. You can't spend the rest of your life alone, dressed in black. I want some kids, goddammit! I want to be a grandfather! You need to take responsibility for your life, and it starts by raising your son. I'm sorry. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. The young orphan you adopted at the gala. I, I thought it was being sarcastic. Hello, Sweet Girl. What? Oh my god, 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 oh my god
the Mariah Key. No one's called the least. Night Terror. What do you think of this? Grab that. Absolutely not. What's that one there? Jamaican Robin? The only trouble is his hands are just a little tight. I got an idea. It's a bear. Oh, no. Come on, Batman. Let's get grooving. I can only look you in the eyes right now. <laughs> oh, black and yellow, black and yellow. A few light lessons along the way. But first, where's the seatbelt? The first lesson is, why does it give you seatbelts? I'm Batman! Really, we got more. What's going on here? Okay, I'm sold for this. This looks absolutely hilarious. Although the Lego movie, when it first came out, the trailer it didn't look at all that great, but we were all surprised at how amazing that movie was. Now they're doing a Lego Batman movie, because, like, man, pretty much doing the same thing as a Lego movie. Same kind of style, and it's Will Arnett reprising his role as the Lego Batman. So this is flat out just going to be hilarious. That's all I got to say, man. I'm so down for this. Anyway, that's it for now. You guys are pretty much tired from this very long video. It's better than doing separate videos, ain't it? But anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye! Vivir así.